there are five classes in the phylum Cnidaria: Anthozoa, Scythozoa, Starozoa, Cubozoa, and Hydrozoa. Cnidarians begin their life as a polyp, an example being an anemone. Some Cnidarians go on from their polyp stage to become a mobile medusa. An example of medusas are sea jellies, which are considered to be plankton since they cannot swim against tides. Anthozoans stay in the polyp stage the duration of their life. Corals and anemones are examples of anthozoans. Anthozoans are important organisms since they are home to many marine species. They receive nutrients from organisms they catch with their tentacles. Hard corals contain an algae called zooxanthellae, which provide color and nutrients obtained by photosynthesis. Scyphozoans are true jellyfish. They are medusas that reproduce sexually to form a polyp. The polyp reproduces asexually to form strobola, which resemble saucers. The saucers bud off and become a fiery, which then develop into a mature medusa. An example of a scyphozoan is the white spotted jellyfish, which is seen here in the Waikiki Aquarium in Hawaii. Another example of a scyphozoan is the bubbler jellyfish. Jellyfish are made up of 95% water and lack a brain, eyes, and even a heart. The class Cubozoa contains the most dangerous creature in the ocean, the box jellyfish. Cubozoans begin as polyps and develop into medusas, like scyphozoans. Unlike scyphozoans, the box jellyfish has a total of 24 simple eyes to detect light and darkness. Box jellies are so deadly due to their venom. A sting can cause a human heart to shut down from a surge of potassium, which is called hyperkalemia. This can lead to cardiovascular collapse in as little as two to five minutes. Star zones are stocked jellyfish that remain in the polyp form. Their stalk allows them to attach to seaweed, rocks, and gravel. They typically grow to look like a trumpet and are found in the northern hemisphere. Like other cnidarians, the starozoa has stinging cells on its tentacles. They can either live in groups or on their own, like anthozoans. Hydras are found in freshwater ponds, lakes, and streams. They are small, simple creatures. At the end of their mouth is one to 12 tentacles, which are covered in stinging cells. Hydras can either attach to an object or float with the current. While the Portuguese man of war looks like a jellyfish, it is not. It is a siphonophore, which is a colony of organisms. They are composed of four polyps. The most noticeable is the gas-filled bubble that sits above the water. The long tentacles are the second polyp. They hang from the bubble and average 30 feet in length and are covered in stinging cells. The third polyp contains the digestive organisms and the fourth contains the reproductive organisms. The Torotopus dorni is the only immortal creature known of so far. It evades death by reverting back to its polyp form if it becomes ill or feels threatened. It starts the process by degenerating. The tentacles are retracted, its body shrinks, and then it sinks to the bottom to restart as a polyp. This process can be repeated infinitely. A scientist named Shin Kubata studies the immortal jellyfish in a lab in Japan. He has been able to successfully harvest a colony, which is very difficult to do in a lab. He writes and performs songs about the jellies, which have become famous in Japan. Cnidarians come in all shapes and sizes and have mastered the art of adaptation. They are simple in structure, but complex in the means of survival they have developed since their origination on the planet 650 million years ago.